Hi, I'm Stella. Oh, and I'm Teresa. And we are one half of War Paint. And War Paint is feeling American today, <laughs> I think. Even though we don't sound it. And even though I said Wharf Paint, <laughs> that's fine. You know the band, it's Wharf Paint. <laughs> Look it up, wharfpaint.com. I caught you guys at South by a few times, and I've always seen you during the daytime. But I really associate your music with like nighttime, kind of like chill. Is it weird playing during the day, or is it? It's a different beast. I think that we try to wrangle. 
sometimes it can be um, like like she was saying, really relaxed and groovy sets. And sometimes night can be I don't know a little bit sleepier too. So kind of just depends on the audience as well. I guess that's true. It's just Jenny, your bass lines are very haunting though. Like I, I love your bass lines, especially in Disco Very. Um, it's just it's weird because it's got such a nice sort of ambient pleasant music, but something about the bass line just marches along. I was wondering, who are some of your influences? <laughs> um, oh, sorry. Let's see. I really love Ja Wobble and Bernard Edwards. Oh, okay. um, were you into the Breeders at all when you were younger? I um, it was into the Breeders, but not... I like them, but I wasn't like obsessed with them or anything. Okay. Um, I grew up listening to a lot of The Cure. Oh, that's Mike awesome. Yeah. Bauhaus, Susie, the whole movement of music. Um, and I love disco. Oh, okay. So. That makes sense. Yeah, I could hear a lot of new, very yeah. disco fans. My sentences are horrible, sorry. They have oh, great. free whiskey all day, so yeah. anyway. But I was curious, too, because like, I really love The Fool. Like, that's such a great record. But I feel like you guys really came in to your sound on the self-titled. And I was just curious, like, was that a conscious effort to sort of evolve the music? Or did it just kind of come naturally? Or were you setting out to kind of achieve something a little different? I think that was just the natural evolution to combine two of the words you just said. Um, of our band, we just, yeah, we weren't, we didn't have any like preconceived notions of where we were going to go with the music. It just kind of happened. And we went to Joshua Tree to go write for a month or so. For the first time. Yeah, we were also, this is the first record that we wrote from the ground up with Stella. Um, but anyways, when we went to Joshua Tree, we just, set up our stations and just wrote every day and that's kind of just what came out which is pretty cool. I think we are um, just starting to get ourselves set up to be able to just kind of pick up and write anywhere. Um, it's a different mentality than when you're at home and you have, you're have at your rehearsal space and you can really sort of start putting your mind to something new. It's like just doing trying to get things right quickly and put out ideas and not think about them too much and um, have it be a part of our everyday life. Um, I think that touring's a lot nicer when we can exercise that part of ourselves as well. Um, yeah, and it's nice to always be going for something new, mm -hmm. something different, keep it fresh. Yeah. Pretty positive, I think, yeah. Kind of almost some parts of it have been unexpected, the things that people like about it and, yeah, just the places that we've been able to go and that we've never been before was kind of experiencing a new level. And that's nice. It's refreshing. It was especially nice when we had the artwork done because Jen's husband Chris made it and it's just such nice colors and everything. It was like, it's like when you are younger and you buy an album. And I remember I bought Bjork's Post without knowing who she was just because I was so attracted to that cover. <laughs>
So, like you said, it is um, you're getting more comfortable on the road, getting more comfortable as a band. You put out two records so far. You're already thinking about your third. Yep. Um, any thoughts on sort of what that what direction that record will take, or how do you think that it will stand out, and how will this recording process be different from what you've done before? It's kind of difficult to say how this next record that we haven't written or recorded yet yeah. will sound. I think there's <laughs> things that we know that we wouldn't want to do or we'd want to do differently, but we also are pretty adamant about not putting up too many limitations when it comes to being creative. And I think for us, the main thing is just to be more focused and keep going towards a goal that's, um, I don't know, a unanimous goal and finding out what that is and communicating with each other better. And I think the music that comes from that process is going to be really interesting.